Have you ever pondered why nature's beauty leaves us in awe? This question is more profound than it might initially appear. As we traverse the globe, we're often left breathless by the sheer magnificence of the landscapes we encounter. But why is that? What is it about these breathtaking vistas that captivate us so? Answer lies in the intriguing tapestry of human culture and the world's awe-inspiring landscapes. These landscapes, each with its unique features, have shaped the cultures of those who live among them. From the rugged mountains to the tranquil seas, each scenery has etched itself onto the hearts and minds of the people who call these places home. Consider highland tribes of the Andes, their lives intertwined with the majestic peaks that tower over them. Or the seafaring cultures of the Pacific Islands, where the ocean's rhythm dictates the ebb and flow of daily life. These landscapes don't just shape the physical aspects of these cultures, but permeate their folklore, traditions and ways of life. Moreover, these breathtaking environments don't just shape cultures, they spark curiosity and a sense of adventure in explorers. They beckon us to venture into the unknown, to experience the thrill of discovery and to gain a deeper understanding of our world and our place within it. They inspire tales of epic journeys, of heroism and survival, of the indomitable human spirit that thrives on exploration and the pursuit of knowledge. It's not just about the thrill of adventure. These environments hold lessons for us. Lessons about resilience, adaptation and the intricate balance of life. They remind us of nature's power and fragility, of the delicate balance that sustains life on this planet. As we embark on this journey, remember, each scene is a testament to the resilience and beauty of our natural world. It's a story of how cultures and landscapes influence each other, of how exploration and curiosity lead to understanding and respect, and of how vital it is to preserve these breathtaking environments for future generations. So let's dive in, shall we? Ever wondered how terrains shape cultures? Terrains, the ever-spectacular tapestry of nature, aren't just breathtaking vistas. They are the silent architects of our cultures, the weavers of our histories. Indeed, the character and spirit of a people are often reflected in the vista they inhabit. Dance between humans and nature is a timeless ballet, choreographed to the rhythm of survival, adaptation and growth. Snow-clad peaks of the Himalayas, their daunting heights and harsh climates have forged a culture of resilience and reverence among the people who call these mountains home. Centuries-old monasteries perched precariously on cliff edges, the echo of chants merging with the mountain winds, tell tales of a spirituality born from the awe-inspiring might of these peaks. Then, there are the vast savannas of Africa where nature's raw power and beauty are on full display. Life moves to the beat of the wild, shaping a culture that respects and reveres the animal kingdom. The Maasai, for instance, have lived in harmony with nature for generations, their traditions intimately entwined with the wildlife and cycles of the land. Take the serene backwaters of Kerala in India, a labyrinth of tranquil lagoons and canals. Here, life is attuned to the ebb and flow of the waters. The people's customs, from their unique boat races to their stilt houses, are a testament to their deep bond with this aquatic terrain. Across the globe, you'll find similar stories. Nomadic Bedouin of the Arabian deserts, the Inuit of the Arctic tundra, the rice farmers of the terraced fields in Bali, each culture a unique masterpiece, painted by the brush of their respective terrains. Every corner of this beautiful planet, terrains have not just provided a backdrop for human existence, but have actively sculpted our ways of life, our beliefs, our very identities. They are a testament to our ability to adapt and thrive, to find beauty and meaning amidst the challenges posed by our environments. Our terrains are more than just scenic views, they are the cradles of diverse cultures. What would our world be like without these breathtaking spectacles? Let's ponder this question for a moment. We're talking about a world without the majestic mountains, the serene lakes, the verdant forests, and the awe-inspiring deserts. A world where the beauty of nature has been replaced by concrete and steel. A grim image isn't could very well be our reality if we don't take action. These magnificent spectacles, which have been home to generations of people, are under threat. From climate change to deforestation, from pollution to urban encroachment, the threats are many. 
and they are immediate. But there's hope. Each one of us can make a difference. How? By making small changes in our daily lives, for starters. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's an old mantra, but it rings as true today as it ever did. By adopting sustainable lifestyles, we can help lessen the burden on our environment. Moreover, we must support the local communities that live in and around these spectacles. They, the first line of defense against threats to these areas, lived harmoniously with nature for centuries, nurturing it, preserving it. By empowering these communities, by supporting their efforts in conservation, we can ensure that these magnificent spectacles continue to flourish. Furthermore, laws and regulations that protect these spectacles need to be enforced more strictly. Governments, corporations and individuals alike must be held accountable for any actions that harm our environment. Why is this so important? These spectacles are more than just beautiful places. They are the cradle of our cultures, the bedrock of our histories, inspired countless works of art, music and literature been the backdrop to countless human stories, triumphs and tragedies. They are the legacy we leave behind for future generations. A world as magnificent, as vibrant, as alive as the one we've been fortunate enough to enjoy. Preserving nature's beauty is not just about safeguarding our spectacles. It's about preserving our culture, our history and our future.